Hi, my name is Katie Vandermeer and I am teaching a few sessions of CO230 Introduction to Telecommunications um, for the academic year 2014-2015, so fall and winter semester. Well, maybe not winter, but right now for fall. So, um, <clears throat> First off, I want to take a minute in this welcome video to go through the components of Blackboard and how this course is laid out. So to begin with, um, announcements. When you first log into our session, um, and your session will be a little different depending on uh, what session you're in. In fact, let me turn that off so it'll look more like a student view. But I use this announcement section all the time, many times a week. The course that I'm teaching is completely online, so as a student you don't have to come to class or come to labs for anything, but you do need to log into Blackboard several times a week and make sure that you're communicating properly with the course. Now, given that this is telecommunications, we can communicate globally uh, in many ways over phone, email, video, video conferencing, networking. So it's a great class to have online because you don't, you know, it's the title of the course. So uh, the only thing with that is that you have to have some self-motivation. So log into Blackboard often. Check your email, your student email often. Every time I post an announcement, which will be several times a week, it will send you an email as well. So maybe connect with your mobile um, phone to make sure that you're checking in with the course a couple times a week. Now, there's no. with that said, there's no particular time that you need to be online. There's no particular, there are due dates, but there's no particular uh, online, um, online sessions that you meet at any particular time, but we do have due dates every week in this course. So we'll look at that. Now here, I'm going to just go down through the course. Here is professor information. This is me. I am Katie Vandermeer. You can go out to my website, which I would encourage you to follow. It's got, it's a, a blog website, so you can follow the website. There's a ton of great uh, things on there and things that we'll use throughout the semester and I'll reference. So job opportunities, things that are going on at the college, um, information that I want to share with you, uh, just things that are going on in my educational world um, and everything about me. So check that out. Now, additionally, I have a couple Facebook pages that, um, if you're on Facebook, you should follow. One is Katie uh, at grcc dot, um, or Katie at grcc off of Facebook. And, oh, hold on one second. Okay, my Facebook page is facebook.com slash Katie grcc. And like my page because I do a lot of Again, um, job opportunities, information about what's going on um, with me, educational, um, educationally wise, uh, what's going on at the college, um, just a ton of different resources for, for you to um, connect with the college community. Additionally, I have uh, a group of uh, women and I started last week, or I'm sorry, last spring, Lady Geeks of Grand Rapids, and this is a, um, Facebook.com, Lady Geeks of Grand Rapids. Now, this is a, a group that we started um, to gather to have a place for women in technology in Grand Rapids to meet um, and talk about uh, your degree that you're pursuing, a field um, the job job markets, to network each other, gain confidence and knowledge of what you're doing with your education. Now, this isn't just open to women in technology. We also invite men to join us. And we usually, you can go out to our Facebook page and like us, but we usually meet once a week. I'm sorry, once a month. And uh, we discuss different topics like MOOCs, which is massive open online courses, or mentoring other young women in the, in the field of technology, um, mentoring each other and helping each other um, um, gain confidence and knowledge. And it's just a, a great group of women that have come together to support each other. So men and women. Um, like our page, when we have events coming up, join us. We usually meet, like I said, once a month at Panera. And it's uh, 
it's a great motivational um, thing to belong to. Now, we are not a club that's affiliated with GRC, well, GRCC, so we're open. We have Davenport students that join us. We're a community organization. But uh, a lot of GRCC students are participants of Lady Geeks, so we, um, we share it this way as well. Um, on my website, I have my schedule listed. And this is where you can find my office hours. I am on campus several days a week, but also given, again, telecommunications, we can talk via um, email, uh, Skype, or um, other means. We can um, talk on the phone. And I do provide my cell phone, not my office phone, because I do not check that often or at all. But my cell phone I do. So this is 644-9045. And you can text or call me, and I'll get back with you as soon as possible. Additionally, I also provide, let me just make sure this is running. I always have that fear it's not running. Uh, additionally, I provide information on how I teach. If you've uh, been a student of mine before, nothing has changed. Um, if you've never had me as a student uh, or as a teacher, then read through my teaching style so you understand what to expect and how I am, and then uh, a little bit about me personally and things that I like to do as well. I'm very open and um, enjoy building professional educational relationships with you guys. Uh, we're here and in this together. So let's look at the syllabus. This is CO. We're in the process of changing from CO to CIS. But this is CO 230, Introduction to Telecommunications. And um, here's a description, the learning objectives, um, general course policies. Uh, that we need to share with you about um, attendance verification that's very important, um, how you can communicate academic policies and college-wide policies, student support services, technical services, and tutoring services. So the syllabus is pretty standard with um, all of your other syllabi that you uh, have for your classes, but read through ours. and. Um, Let's go down and look at textbook and software. Now, there's no particular software that we need to use for this course, um, but let me talk about software first. Uh, as a student, you have access to DreamSpark while you're in computer information systems. Um, the first week of class, check your student email account, and you will get an email that tells you how to log into DreamSpark. There's a ton of free Microsoft software that you can get for free. Uh, there's also some information in um, uh, frequently asked questions on DreamSpark. But this is a, a Microsoft academic program that you can get. You can't get Word or PowerPoint, but you can get, um, or Excel you can't get, but you can get Windows Server, you can get Windows um, operating systems, so you could upgrade to Windows 8, um, all for free. And again, just a ton of other resources. So what we do, what your primary resource is for this course is going to be the textbook and um, a videos that I'll share with you. Uh, through our learning modules. So here is the textbook that's in the bookstore. It is Introduction to Telecommunications by Anu Gokhal, and um, it's quite costly. However, th this is not the correct publication date. We're actually we're using um, publication um, two, so it's a little bit more current than this. But um, the book in the bookstore is quite expensive. With that said, if you can go outside of the bookstore and um, look online, go, go to half.com or Amazon. I did a quick search today, and there were a ton of books that you could get for less than $100, and that would work with your needs. Um, sometimes, on like Google Books, too, if you want to go to Google Books, you can get a couple of the chapters free, or a good portion of the book is in PDF online somewhere or another. So, uh, Google before you go buy the expensive book at the bookstore and try to get the um, try to get the what you can. So I apologize for the cost, but there are other alternatives. You can rent nowadays, and you can um, uh, buy it used as well. And the bookstore has all of those options available for you. <clears throat> so that is the textbook. Now, what is telecommunications, and what is this course about? Well, let me just first go. This will cover a lot more in depth in um, our 
first learning module, well, our second learning module, which is Chapter 1, which is an overview of telecommunications. But it's basically the study of communications at a distance. So we will get into how things are done technically. But also we're talking about wireless technology, um, network technology, radio, microwave transmission, um, communication satellites, and the whole broad um, um, broadband of, of communicating. So in the earliest means, we're talking about um, beacons, so smoke sig signals, um, signal lags, and so on. But now, of course, as technology advances, and with the Telecommunications Act of 1996, things have changed quite a bit in how we share information and how we go through our day-to-day -day lives. So it is an important um, it's an important field to understand, and it it does um, span many different job opportunities in um, Grand Rapids, in the the, the state, uh, in the United States, and in of course the entire country. Australia is a very popular, um, you know, very similar to the United States, where they use a ton of different ways to telecommunicate, um, and they're very uh, leading edge in that field. Um, such as uh, the same with the United States as well. But um, here's another website, telecom world 101com And this is a business, but it does give you an idea of what we're talking about with telecommunications. Um, networking, so local area networks, um, virtual networks, wide area networks, voice over IP, which is a faster way to transmit um, voice signals. Um, we're talking about servers and protocols that run those servers, like DHCP and DNS and web servers. Um, traditional um, telephone systems, which we still use, and then security that's related to all of this. So that's an idea of what telecommunications is all about. And like I said, with Learning Module 2, Chapter 1, we'll go more into um, what is telecom and and um, what exactly are we talking about? Now, to get you, to give you an idea of what type of jobs that you're looking for, I just googled telecommunication companies in Grand Rapids, and like I said, it, it uh, telecommunications is such a broad term to describe anything in networking and communications. Um, technology companies and Grand Rapids, as you know, is changing so much with the hubs that are downtown and the um, ways that people communicate. Go ahead and take a minute and put um, this search phrase in Google and see what type of companies that you find. In fact, for our first um, learning module, um, our welcome module, there is going to be an assignment that I have called Let's go to learning modules because I can't remember what it's called. Um, our communication pretest, and this is just something for you to get started. But in the pretest, I'm going to have you do this and respond with what some of these companies mean um, and what they do, so you just have a basic understanding of telecommunications to begin with. So. Um, where were we? We were under oh, explaining what telecommunications is. Okay, so that, that's an idea of what the course is. Now let's go back to Blackboard and um, course schedule and due dates. Now this lays out what we're going to do every week of the course. And uh, I think it's pretty detailed, but I, I can add more detail as the semester goes on. Now just a little bit about me and my teaching schedule. I'm a full-time teacher here, and I have six preps. 11 courses, and uh, five out of my six books are new textbooks and new preps this semester. So it's very um, busy for me. In addition to um, I've moved this summer, I'm dealing with some, just a ton of different things. So I'm very busy. But um, I look forward to every class that I teach, every student that I meet, and organizing it in a way that you will learn a lot from whatever class you're taking from me. So here's our course schedule and due date. And um, our class runs from Monday to Monday. And our due dates are 11.59 on Monday night, so midnight, basically.
Now the, the assignments, when I have them scheduled, um, they won't shut off. You can still submit them if you miss the deadline, but they will be marked late, and then I can take off appropriate um, points for how late it is. Um, nothing will be accepted very long past the due date, but uh, everything is on the course calendar. So we have um, our schedule, the week beginning the 25th, um, begin and complete learning module one. What you should work on this week is getting the textbook, exploring the course in Blackboard, and completing all of the assignments in learning module one, which is due the following Monday. And actually, I, I have it due the second because Monday is Labor Day. It's a holiday. So um, you get an extra day this week. And this, this first week, will it'll it's just the pretest that's due, so it won't take too long. But then we start with Chapter 1. Um, so start next week, you're going to complete the Learning Module 1. That was due on the second. Um, and then you're going to begin Learning Module 2 which is the overview of telecommunications. Now, I will provide the presentation, the PowerPoint from the chapter, and I will create um, review videos, which will um, include videos of, of me explaining some things, which I'll try to keep short, and also videos that I find online that are helpful. Um, and then you'll complete all of the assignments in that learning module, which would then be due September 8th at 1159. So you can see how the course works. And again, every week I will, uh, several times a week, post announcements, give reminders, make sure that you are a responsible student, though, and you log into Blackboard and check your email and see what's going on. So that's the course schedule. If you scroll all the way down, you can get um, and download it in PDF or Word form and print it out, which is what I did. And I have right in front of me so I can keep myself. I'm um, just as busy as you guys with creating all my work and doing all of these assignments. So I need to keep organized as well. So print it off if you're a paper person. Uh, learning modules. This is the meat of our course, the, where everything is that you'll, you'll need. These are all of our assignments, links, presentations, labs, quizzes, tests, everything that you'll need to know is in learning modules. So learning module one, this is what you're doing now. You're learning about what this course is about. Um, so I'll always say this is what you're going to find in here, and this is what you need submit to submit. Um, learning module two, again, it's not at this point of the making of this video, it's not complete yet because, like I said, I have a whole bunch of new preps, but it will be completed um, before the week begins and um, probably several days before that. So I'll always provide a chapter overview um, and then video um, uh, videos and then the homework. So you, I made this one available so you could get an idea, but it's not complete yet. So there's the PowerPoint presentation. Um, there's overview of uh, telecommunications, which is the chapter title. Um, I give, uh, I'll provide several videos and I always embed them so that they're um, easy to control. Um, but I, I wrote, wrote a little note here. It's incomplete, meaning that I have more videos to post. I just haven't done that yet. So we have uh, one there, and then I'll post the homework for this chapter. Um, and that will be linked to the grades, which is where you'll find um, how you're doing. And then it'll be linked to the calendar, which will show the due date for our course. Um, I have some uh, resources for the interested. So I have um, my websites and so on. Um, Gliffy, which is a free online diagram tool. I'm not sure if we'll use that this semester or not. Um, and then the glossary for terms um, um, from our book and from um, telecommunications, other telecommunication books. But uh, some of our homework will include definitions and terms. Um, so you'll have to, you know, that might be a good resource for you to look things up. Send email. You can use this to contact me. Um, these are just Blackboard tools. Discussion board, I have this available for um, public use. We don't use it for grading or discussion requirements, but if you come across something interesting that you want to share with the class, please use this forum to share information. Um, let's use this course as a way to communicate and help and share with each other in learning about this field. Um, 
connectivity and tutoring information. This is just uh, more information on Blackboard Instant Messaging, if you need help tutoring with tutors for any of your courses. Um, frequently Asked Questions. Again, uh, some information on DreamSpark. And then accessibility, um, accessibility concerns. So primarily with this, it just explains how accessibility is used in this course and gives you a link to Blackboard Accessibility. Um, one thing I want to mention, too, in the syllabus, we have uh, grades. Um, let me go back to the syllabus and go down a minute, and then I'll stop talking. But we have great support services. So if you are in need of um, any additional help, make sure that you register with Disability Support Services. And they have a great website. You can meet with somebody. Um, but if you have any special needs, you need to register with them. Uh, so that I know how I can help you. So go out to the Disability Support Center at the college. Great. I thank you for listening. I didn't need to talk this long, but um, uh, you needed something to do the first week. So uh, thanks for listening, and I look forward to getting Learning Module 2 ready for you to go on next week. Um, I hope you enjoy this course, and I'll talk with you soon.